If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Lula LV. On this channel, we talk mostly about Louis Vuitton, but also occasionally other luxury brands, contemporary designers, and premium beauty. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. Now let's dive right in because we have a lot to talk about today. Before we take a look at the new releases, I want to address one of the important changes coming to Louis Vuitton, which I have already seen start to happen this year, is Louis Vuitton is becoming much more difficult to get pre-release information from. I did my first uh, new release preview video back in July of this year. It was uh, fall winter new releases at Louis Vuitton. I published that video in July and I was able to show new items coming out all the way up through September and almost all of the new releases I previewed in that video included the price, the item number, and photos. So I was able to get a lot of information three months out before those releases came. And I do not have any specific inside connections at Louis Vuitton. That was all information that was publicly available that I was able to compile through doing my own research. I've noticed a huge change now going forward into 2023. It is very difficult to get new release information more than one month out. Uh, one great example is the Louis Vuitton and Kusama collaboration. The first drop is coming on January 5th. That's only three weeks from now. And we just saw the photos of that collection come out two weeks ago. So about five weeks in advance, there were a few people who posted the photos earlier of the Kusama collaboration, and they were instructed to take those photos down. Photos on Instagram were removed, as well as photos on the Purse Forum were removed because they were released too early. They've been a lot more closed lipped on new releases until just a couple weeks before those releases come out, whereas in the past it used to be a few months. And I wanted to address it before we look at the new releases we're going to talk about because you will notice I will mention collections that are coming out and what the release dates are. I have very limited photos now, even though I do have information on what pieces will be included in that collection. I don't have photos for everything. So this is going to be a little bit different moving forward, and I wanted to let you know why. So we'll go collection by collection through release dates, January and February, and take a look at what's coming out. It may not be the complete collection, but it's as much information as I was able to find so far. The first collection being released in January is the Louis Vuitton and Yayoi Kusama collection. This is being released in two drops. The first drop is coming out on January 5th. This is a huge collection. It includes women's bags, SLGs, ready-to-wear accessories, and men's bags, SLGs, ready-to-wear, and accessories. This is a massive, massive collection. I actually have all of the pieces included in Drop One with the item IDs and prices in both US dollars and euros. However, due to what I said earlier that Louis Vuitton is clamping down on sharing pre-release information too soon, I will be sharing that in a separate video coming up probably in a week or two when the release is closer to coming out. So if you'd like to see that video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video when it comes out. In terms of bags and SLGs, there's a few components to this collection that I'm going to mention specifically. Number one is a black leather with the LV monogram in teal. This is currently confirmed in the Keep All 25. This is the only photograph I currently have of this collection. However, I do have confirmation that the uh, other pieces coming in this colorway include the Christopher, 
the pocket organizer and the slender wallet. Also part of this drop is the ornaments collection and the ornaments collection is coming in a few different colorways, black, a shadow gray, as well as a white and gray, which I actually haven't seen yet. The ornaments collection will only include bags, no small leather goods. I think that's probably because the design and the monogram in this collection is too large to fit on a small leather good. That would be my guess. So far for this collection, what I have seen confirmed in the color gray is the City Keeple at $2,930, the Cruiser Messenger at $3,150, and the Soft Trunk also at $3,150. In white, we have the Sack Plat confirmed at $4,350. The Men's Comics Collection will also be part of this drop coming in January. I have three pieces that I have the prices and item IDs confirmed. However, However, as I was editing this video, I found a few additional confirmed pieces, so I will insert those at the end of this list. What I've seen so far is the Keep All 50 confirmed at $3,150, the Mini Soft Trunk confirmed at $3,400, and the Multi Pocket Backpack, it's 2,370 euro. And the Multi Pocket Bum Bag is confirmed at $2,520. <music> Next part of the men's drop is coming a week later on January 19th, and these are new men's exotics. These look amazing. Again, they're part of the men's collection, but these I think are gender neutral. They work for men and women. They have croc pieces coming in this super bright, bright green, as well as a purpley maroon color. The first one is made to order only. It's the Keep All 45. It is priced at 55,000 euro. We also will see a mini soft trunk at 20,000 euro. The Braza in a maroon croc at 5,000 euro. And the least expensive option will be the pocket organizer at 2,300 euros. And this is coming in both the maroon and the green croc. If you can get your hands on one of these, if you're into exotics, I think these will be gorgeous pieces. The maroon color is the one that personally speaks to me. I think these look really gorgeous. Moving on to February, we will have a few women's releases coming out. We will also be seeing a lot more women's. I have a feeling in March, because the Women's Spring Summer Collection should be coming out around then, but in February, I believe the first week in February, the new braided handle collection will be coming out. This was from last year in the Damier Azor. They will be releasing this collection in Damier Abine. This will be coming in the Alma BB. I don't have prices yet for this collection, but for this one last year, I paid $2,160. We will see what the price will be this year, but it will not be any less than what this was priced at. This collection will also include the Croissette, the Speedy Bandolier 25, and the Neverfull MM. The Bicolor Empreinte will be released in a new colorway, and this will be an inversion of the Rose Trianon and cream color that was released uh, this past year in 2022 will be cream in the background with the rose trianon monogram print on top this is going to be gorgeous for spring summer all i have is a photo of the victorine wallet i don't know all the pieces yet that will be included in this colorway but they did a ton of pieces in this colorway this past year so i think we may be seeing a lot come out next year I will update you on that collection as soon as I have more information. The 
next and final piece I have to preview for 2023 is a brand new small leather good called the Ivy Walk. And it looks like the same size as the Pochette Accessoire. If you count the LV monogram going across, there is three. And if you count it vertically, there's two LV monograms on the Pochette Accessoire. It is the same spacing on the Ivy Walk. So it looks like this will be a brand new small leather good in monogram canvas. Instead of the zip opening, it will have a flap opening. And instead of a short vachetta or vachetta leather strap, it will have a adjustable shoulder and crossbody strap that's the same style as the strap we see on the Neo Noe. Plus it will come with a chain strap. I don't have a price on it yet, but I can tell you it will probably be priced at least as much as the Pochette Accessoire. The Pochette Accessoire is currently priced at $1,290, so I would guess that piece will probably be priced between $1,300 to $1,400. But that's just my guess. I don't have any confirmation on that. That's everything I have planned for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do apologize. I didn't have as many photos and item IDs to share with you as I normally do, but I do promise to put out an update again in January, give you more information on these collections, and hopefully preview what's coming out in February and March. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.